Hey, yo, what up, what up? Top of the morning, top of the morning, man. Check it out. Yo, listen, today we're going to talk about how a lot of your favorite artists, some mega stars actually, borrowed from Mace. You understand what I'm saying? So we're going to get into a few artists, and I don't care if I ruffle feathers. This is just my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. And these artists were clearly influenced by Mace and Betha. And we're going to talk about it real quick. Um... So look, before I even get into that, let me just, you know, say this, you know, I don't want to say this taken away from their artistry or saying that they deliberately copied Mace to get where they at. No, I'm just saying that they were clearly influenced by Mace in their flow and their style and their cadence. All right. Doesn't mean that they copy from Mace, like said his lyrics. That's a total different thing. I'm a hip hop baby. It's a lot of y'all probably watching this right now. That's probably hip hop babies as well. So I don't want to let my words get out of context when I'm saying this. So people go twist my words, but let's just be real here. So the first artist I'm going to talk about that when I first heard him, I felt like he, you know, was very, very much influenced by Mace, by his flow, delivery and cadence was is fabulous. All right. When Fabulous came out with that whole slow flow thing, punchline after punchline type style. I really was thinking about Mace, especially in his voice and his cadence. You understand what I'm saying? So Fabulous, you know, at one point in time, you know, um, I think they even did a track with Mace. Um, that song, If You Want It, They Can Get It. No, not that one. Nope. I'm bugging. Not that one. It was a song called That's The Way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I Like It. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then he said, you could tell I blue. Puts a 740 LI through. Eyes low from the LIQ. Like, even even the way he started the verse off sound like Mace. But Mace was on that track, too. They both ripped it. I mean, they both ripped it. Of course, I like Mace verse better. But they both ripped it. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but you could tell that he was, you know, he, he knew Mace at some point in time. And he was influenced by Mace. But it was some point in their careers where they kind of fell out. And Mace kind of felt like he wasn't paying him the, you know, the correct homage that he was paying and one made a diss track on another and y'all i'm pretty sure y'all heard about it you know um mace made a you know threw jabs at fab yeah um and fab came back through jab you know through a track on him him and paul Kane made a track um but that was one artist that i always thought that you could clearly tell ball from mace the next artist who i felt like ball from mace is kanye west and one thing i respect about kanye west is that he actually admitted it he actually said that you know he was inspired by mace he wanted to rap like mace mace is one of his favorite artists so you gotta salute kanye on that because he admitted it there's a lot of rappers out there that ball from mace style and never really gave him that homage and that's corny you understand what i'm saying let's keep it all the way real and funky all right you gotta respect yay because he's an honest man so even when we even when kanye west first video um through the wire when he did that little you know when he accepted his uh you know um his chain from dame dash when he first got onto the rock what did he say i'm the newest member on the rockefeller team and i'ma bring dame dash mad more cream who 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 that came from that came from Mace. You know when Mace is a Hall of World album? When he when he said, I'm the newest member of the bad boy team. And I'm a British Puff man, more cream. Come on. It's clear that, you know, he took from Mace and he, he actually, you know, was inspired by him. And when I say took from Mace, I'm not saying took lyrics or copied him completely. I'm just saying you could tell he was deeply inspired by Mace. Even in his flows and various songs, you could tell that Kanye West was inspired by Mace. So... When this whole thing, you know, with the Oracle and the Oracle 2, if you listen to Mace Bars, you know, it's not just lashing out on Diddy and, and, and all these people, you know what I'm saying, for no reason. He's basically saying like, yo, not only I want the right to my publishing and not only I want the money I feel I deserve, but I want the homage, man. Where's the homage? A lot of people took from me. You know what I'm saying? He, Puff took from him. You know what I'm saying? Took Mace wrote a lot of, you know, a lot of that stuff Puff put out, Mace wrote. Didn't get the full homage for it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, where's the homage? Like, where, where do we rank Mace? Amongst the best rappers He should be up there Like if you think about All the classic songs Even some songs That Biggie was a part of Mace was the pin behind that All right And that's what Mace Was basically trying to Sell to the people He feeling He's saying that I'm not looking for no handout I earned this And you can't be mad At a person for that You know what I'm saying And I'm pretty sure It's more artists And I can go on and on And on about All these other artists Who borrowed from Mace Loon Another one You know what I'm saying Like I really think That whole slow flow thing That's originally Mace Let's keep it a bean 
You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I heard Mace before I heard, heard Loon. Uh, Loon was a part of Harlem World. He was under the Mace umbrella. I'm sorry. I think Loon, you know, definitely borrowed from Mace. You know what I'm saying? Like even even in that song, what song he was in? That, I was like, yo, that sounds just like Mace. Um, but you would deal with. I need somebody I could deal chill with. I need somebody I could build with. I need somebody I could hold tight. That's Mace. That's Mace. Let's keep it a beam. Let's keep it a beam, man. But like I said, this is all. This is all, 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 all my, you know, um, thoughts and my opinions. And like I said, everybody could disagree if they choose to. But this is what I feel personally, all right? Anyway, man, this is Thrilly Throwbacks, man. Signing out. How y'all feel about that? Y'all think people took from Mason to get, didn't give him his proper homage or not? You know what I mean? But this is Thrilly Throwbacks signing out. We out. Peace. Much love to y'all. Oh, thank you to the subscribers. Help us to get to 5,000 subscribers. And, you know, and stay coming back and showing that love, man. I appreciate every single one of y'all beautiful people. Love. Oh,